Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain you all coins concept in probability. So let's get started. First of all, one coin, if you toss a coin, it will have two outcomes, right? It may be either head or tail. So one coin will give you two power one outcomes, that is head or tail. If you toss two coins, it may be either head head, head tail, tail head or tail tail. So it has four possible outcomes that is two square outcomes. If you toss three coins, it may be either head head tail, head head head, head tail head, head tail tail, tail head head, tail head tail, tail tail head, all tails. So it has eight outcomes, two power three outcomes. So what we have observed here, if n coins are there, if n number of coins are there, then the outcomes will be 2 power n outcomes. If you toss n number of coins at a time, then the outcomes will be 2 power n outcomes. So this is all about coins related concept. And now let's move on to ears related concept. So ears, ears, we have two types of ears, leap ears and non leap ears. So, as we all know, we have 365 days when it's a non-leap year. When it comes to leap year, it will be 366 days. First, look at this non-leap years. We have 52 weeks, 52 weeks and each week has 7 days. 52 into 7 is 364 plus 1 day. And this 1 day may be, it may be Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or Saturday. So the probability of getting Thursday or Tuesday or any day is 1 by 7. When it comes to only this one, this last one, the probability of getting this last day as Monday or Tuesday or any other day is 1 by 7 when it comes to non-leap years. And when it comes to the leap years, we have 366 days, right? And in that we have 52 weeks, 52 weeks and each week has 7 days, 52 weeks, 7 days, 364 plus 2 other days, those 2 days because of leap years. If it's not a leap year, then it will be only 1 day and these 2 days, may be it may be Saturday and Sunday, Sunday and Monday, Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Friday and Saturday. These are the chances. But we need to have the correct probability, right? Probability of getting Sunday is 2 by 7. How? See, here in this case, we will have Sunday 1, one Sunday. And here in this case, we will have another one. So we have 2 chances. So 2 by 7. Here we have only 1 chance. So 1 by 7. If probability of A union B is equal to 1, for two events A and B, then A and B are known as exhaustive events. Means all the possible uh, possible um, outcomes are included. So it is known as exhaustive events. And now let's move on to Card's concept in probability. So the overall deck contains 52 cards and 26 will be black colored cards. 26 will be red colored cards. In that, 13 will be clubs, 13 will be spades, 13 will be hearts, 13 will be diamonds. So remember like this, when you um, when you see a heart, mostly it will be in red color, right? So heart, red color. Diamond, heart is related, your heart is diamond. So heart is related to diamond, diamond is red color. And the remaining two are black color. Face cards means uh, which have faces jack queen king most important thing is jack is also known as knave these face cards 12 face cards are there see these three are there right three face cards into four types three into four is the 12 and non face cards means no face these are the non face cards a two three four five six seven eight nine ten there is no one please keep in mind there are 10 non-face cards into 4. 4 types into 4 is equal to 40. Honored or court cards. They are A, Queen, K, 
king jack that is 4 4 times 4 into 4 16 and now let's see the dice concept in probability so dice if you um, if you cast a dice then the outcomes may be it may be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 right so 6 power 1 outcomes like in the case of coins 6 ways if you cast 2 dice then 6 power 2 outcomes that is 36 ways the first dice will be maybe 1 and the second dice may be anything from 1 to 6 right so these many outcomes will be there if you cast two dice at a time that is 36 outcomes okay and there are chances that doublets may be formed doublets means same numbers will appear in same die oh sorry in two dice 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 5 comma 5 6 comma 6 these are the outcomes and if you want the dice total is 2 see 1 plus 1 total is 2 right and the case is only one case is there. See, no other case is like that. If you want the total as 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 1, 3. Only two cases are there. So, I have um, formed this like this. Total 2, total 3, total 4, total 5, total 6, total 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cases, number of cases will be like this. At 8, you will have reverse. Total is 8, 5. Total is 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you want to check, you can check. See, we'll check this. Total is 8. Means, see, 5 plus, 5 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 5 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 4 plus 4, and uh, 3 plus 5, 2 plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 cases. Okay? Please remember this format. And now, let's move on to even even if you cast two dice at a time then nine cases will appear nine ways will be there if both are even numbers see two two even numbers both are even numbers both are odd numbers nine cases will be there one is even one is odd nine cases will be there first i mean first dice will give you an even number second dice will give you an odd number nine cases are there First dice will be give you will give you an even odd number. Second dice will give you an even number. These are also nine cases. First dice outcome will be the smaller one, and the second uh, second dice outcome will be the bigger one. Then it will have fifteen cases. First dice outcome will be the bigger one. Second dice outcome will be the smaller one. Then it will have fifteen cases also. It has fifteen cases. It has fifteen cases. Remaining six cases are equal remember that doublets they are equal and the cases of both prime numbers p represents prime prime here both prime numbers nine cases will be there both are composite numbers you see a composite number is a number which is formed by two other small positive integers like um, four is formed by two into two six is formed by three into two multiplication of three into two and the uh, Cases of one positive, uh, one prime number and second composite number in first dice and second dice is six cases. Same six cases if first dice gives you a composite number, second dice gives you a prime number. Remember, 11 are either, remaining 11 are neither prime nor composite numbers. Okay? And when it comes to the three dice, if three dice are rolled, then 6 power 3 outcomes will be there. You see here, doublets will not form, triplets will be formed. All 1s, all 2s, all 3s, all 4s, all 5s, all 6s. And all even number cases are, 27 cases are there. All odd number cases are, 27 cases are there here too. Total. If total is 9, 25 cases will be there. If total is 10, 27 cases. If total is 11, 27 cases. If total is 12, 25 cases are there. You see total means 3 plus 3 plus 3. 9. First dice output, second dice output, third dice output. If total is between 3 to t, 3 to 8, sorry 3 to 8, then number of cases is r minus 1 into r minus 2 by 2. Okay? 
if the total is between 13 to 18 then number of cases is equal to 19 minus r into 20 minus r by 2 and the most important point is if uh, if a b c are three mutually exclusive events then probability of a union b union c is equal to probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find my video worth watching, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.